Hello all, welcome to Make2 Explore channel. First of all, thank you to all our subscribers, viewers and supporters. In this video, we are going to see new project. Real-time object detection on Raspberry Pi. This will be a fast C++ implementation of TensorFlow Lite SSD single shot detection on a bare Raspberry Pi 4. CPP programming, OpenCV library, and the deep learning model like TensorFlow Lite will be used. This application detects multiple objects in the scene. So, without wasting time, let's see what hardware setup we are going to use. Okay, in hardware setup. Raspberry Pi 4 Model B is used, which is connected to Logitech C270 webcam via USB cable. LCD monitor is also connected through mini HDMI cable. Okay, this was about hardware setup. Now, let's see demo of this project. For that, let's head over to Raspberry Pi desktop. Here is the project code, opened in code blocks IDE, in program, here the project's name. Real-time object detection on Raspberry Pi 4. About software, as we have mentioned earlier, OpenCV library, TensorFlow Lite frameworks is also used. In previous slide, we have also seen what hardware is used for this project. Like RPi, Logitech's webcam, etc. We have referred codes created by Q Engineering. So, source code credits goes to Q Engineering. Huge thanks to them for such amazing works in machine learning. There are several deep learning examples are available on their website. Check them out. We will share all the links in the description box. Let's move forward and take a quick look at the project's source code. Here are the include statements, which consist of standard libraries, different deep learning, OpenCV, and TensorFlow libraries. Then, down here, the frame size is defined, which is 300 by 300. Then, these lines of code is for the video file. If you uploaded recorded video file, here is the function, detect from video, where image preprocessing is carried out. Here is the main function, where we first load the model. Like this custom file shown here, detect.tf light. The object detection TensorFlow model getting loaded there. Then here, they have built the interpreter. After that, labeling is performed. Next, going forward, let's see where the camera is defined. This code also detects objects in recorded MP4 videos. You can see, if you want to use webcam, then you have to comment this file browsing statement and uncomment camera opening function. Here, number zero is for webcam device. For raspy camera device, it may be one. The next, here, the frame rate in FPS is calculated. Okay, now, let's save this code. Then build, or, compile it. Here is gear like icon button, to run the compiler. This will take some time to compile. Okay, here you can see our program is successfully compiled with zero errors and zero warnings. Let's execute this program by clicking this green button. As you can see, different objects in the scene are getting detected. We're getting frame rate of Aprox, 5 FPS. Here the TensorFlow Lite SSD, single shot detection, is explored as being one of the fastest. The Coco SSD Mobile Net V1 recognizes 80 different objects. It can detect up to 10 objects in a single scene. So, in this way, we have completed this project. All the codes will be shared on GitHub. We are also planning to try some more RPi4 OpenCV based projects and deep learning examples from Q Engineering's SD image. Like pose estimation, segmentation, face detection, mask detection, etc. 
stay tuned for more updates. If you face any difficulty in replicating this project, feel free to ping us on Telegram, or you can also send us email at info at the rate make to explore.com. We would be happy to help. Thank you.